Good day. I'm Joshua Garcia and this is PTV News Now. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has secured 4 billion U.S. dollars or 220 billion pesos worth of investment deals during his three-day working visit to Berlin, Germany. He said this is proof of his work to boost the economy and to strengthen the relationship of the Philippines to different countries. Contrary to former President Rodrigo Duterte's statement that he was just going on a tour. Despite Duterte's statement on his foreign travels, he still greets him for his upcoming birthday. Personal ko naman kilala si PRRD. So, um, yeah, like, I, like I've told you many times before, hindi ako na may personal. Para sa akin, madali, hindi naman madali, pero nahihiwalay ko yung, yung trabaho at saka yung personal. So, I don't see a problem there. The U.S. House of Representatives passed a bill that would force short video app TikTok, used by about 170 million Americans, to cut ties or break away from its Chinese owner, Bike Dance, or face a ban. Congressional correspondent Catherine Gibson has the report. After years of concern about data privacy on the popular social media app, U.S. lawmakers took a key step Wednesday calling for TikTok to separate from its Chinese parent company, ByteDance. Today, we send a clear message that we will not tolerate our adversaries weaponizing our freedoms against us. With significant bipartisan support, the bill addresses concerns TikTok is a national security threat. Americans need to ask themselves whether they want to give the Chinese government the ability to control access to their data, whether they want to give the Chinese government the ability to control the information they get through the recommendation algorithm, and whether they want to give the Chinese government the ability to leverage the data. The bill is passed. TikTok has denied those allegations, calling the House bill a ban. The bill's co-sponsors push back against that claim. Our intention is for TikTok to continue to operate but not under the control of the Chinese Communist Party. China condemned the vote Tuesday. The U.S. has not found any evidence of TikTok threatening national security. It has never stopped going after TikTok. And many U.S. lawmakers and civil liberties groups say singling out the app is unfair and limits Americans' rights to free speech. Any ban on TikTok is not just banning the freedom of expression. You are literally causing huge harm to our national economy. The TikTok legislation has revived the debate over data privacy and personal freedoms. There are bigger issues uh, taking away from the American life than TikTok. Uh, I mean, people can't afford groceries and we're concerned about a social media app. Security for all of the, the platforms are just... Uh, they're under scrutiny right now, and I think for good reason. I, I don't have a lot of trust in the platforms and in the information that's provided these days. I'm just very concerned about the authenticity. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said committees would consider the bill, which could face significant legal challenges. The U.S. government would have a very, very difficult job of convincing a court that this ban is both narrowly tailored enough to advance this government interest of data privacy, but then also that there are no less restrictive measures that the government could have taken. President Joe Biden has said he will sign the bill into law if it passes the U.S. Senate. The Biden campaign joined TikTok earlier this year to reach out to younger voters. Catherine Gibson, VOA News. Each year, local from the closest town to Mexico's Popocatepetl or Popocatepetl volcano celebrate the birthday of Don Goyo. This, as they affectionately call the volcano with chants, dances, and offerings, the tradition dating back decades originated from a legend in which a man would appear at the doors of houses asking for food and water, claiming to be the volcano itself. Despite its recent intense activity, the celebration continues, although authorities restricted access to the site this year due to safety concerns. With approximately 25 million people living within a 60-mile radius of the volcano, it remains one of the most dangerous in the world, despite not having experienced a massive eruption in over a millennium. This is Joshua Garcia. Stay informed. Get ahead. Get the news right here.